Okay, today we have another English quiz. Did you like the last English quiz where I taught you about cord, cable, and wire? Well, today we're going to learn electric, electronic, and electrical. <sighs> English is the worst language in the world. I feel so bad for people who have to learn English. The difference between these words. Do you know the difference between these words? Ah, it's hard. It's hard. But I'm trying to teach you. So hey, if you like getting taught by me, then make sure you smash that subscribe button right down there. Okay, so let's take a look at the first question. What is this? Well, this is a scooter. Okay, but it's a special scooter because look, it has a battery here. See, you can control, you know, you can, you can control it without pushing, without moving your leg. You could just stand on there and maybe push a button or I'm not sure how this works, but it uses electricity. It uses electricity to go. Isn't that cool? So what do we call this? Is it called an electric scooter, an electronic scooter, or an electrical scooter. Which word is right? What do you think? Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. The correct answer is electric scooter. This is called an electric scooter. Okay, now let's take a look at another one. What's this? Well, this is a car. Is it an electric car, an electronic car, or an electrical car? What do you think is the right answer? Well, the right answer is electric car. It's an electric car. Do you have an electric car? I don't have an electric car. I have a car that runs on gas, gasoline. Okay, this car does not use gasoline. It uses electricity. So it's called an electric car. You know, take a look at this store. What would you call this store? Is it an electric store? an electronic store, or an electrical store. Which word is right to describe this store? Well, the answer is it's an electronics store. Electronics, because it sells many electronic devices. Okay, we put an S on here when we're talking about more than one kind of electronic device. Okay, um, like a phone, you know, a phone or an iPad or a computer, right? This is an electronic device, right? My computer. So if a store is selling many different things, then it's called an electronics store, electronics store. Okay, now take a look at this tape. What kind of tape is this? Is it electric tape? electronic tape or electrical tape? Hmm. What do you think? I'm going to give you three seconds. One, two. Well, that those were fast seconds. Okay. One, two, three. Those were real seconds. Okay. It's called electrical tape. Electrical tape. Did you know that? Okay. Take a look at this guy. This guy is a student. He is studying some kind of engineering. Hmm. What kind of engineering is he studying? Is he studying electric engineering, electronic engineering, or electrical engineering? Which one? Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you. He is studying electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. Have you gotten most of them right so far? Are you keeping track? Maybe you should keep track and let me know down there in the comments if you got them all right or if you got them all wrong. I hope you're getting a few right. This is hard. This is hard stuff. Okay, now take a look at this. What kind of cigarette is this? Is it a normal cigarette? No, let's look. It comes in a box like this. Hmm. It's a special kind of cigarette. It's an e-cigarette. Okay. Look at that E. What does that E stand for? Hmm. Is it, is it a, an electric cigarette, an electronic cigarette, or an electrical cigarette? Which one do you think? Hmm. 
Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's an electronic cigarette, an electronic cigarette. Okay, take a look at this. What is this? This is e-commerce, okay, e-commerce, online, you know, buying and selling, you know, like eBay or Amazon, right? Amazon is an e-commerce company. You know, you can, you can buy things and sell things on, on Amazon, right? It's like an online marketplace. Hey, are you selling anything on Amazon? If you're selling anything on Amazon, let me know. Maybe I can buy it and support your work. That would be awesome. Okay, so e-commerce, what does that mean? What does the E stand for? The E stands for, you ready? Electronic, electronic commerce. Okay, now let's take a look at this. E-learning, e-learning means learning online learning on your computer or your phone. Hey, that's what you're doing right now. You're doing e-learning right here at Mad English TV. Mad English TV is the best place for e-learning, right? I hope you don't cheat on me and go learn somewhere else. I hope you stay here at Mad English TV. So what is e-learning? E means electronic electronic learning. That's what e-learning, you know, very often we hear these things in English and we don't think about what they mean, right? You hear e-learning, e-commerce, um, you know, very often there's the, the letter e and then another word and we don't think about what the e means, but it's, it means something, it stands for the word electronic. Okay, uh, now take a look at this wheelchair. Hey, look at this wheelchair. Is it a normal, you know, a manual wheelchair? No, it's not. It is an, is it an electric wheelchair, an electronic wheelchair, or an electrical wheelchair? What do you think? Are you ready for the answer? The answer is it's an electric wheelchair, an electric. See over there, that thing that you move with your, your hand, you can just go forward or backward or or maybe turn the corner or something. That's called a joystick. Okay. Um, you know, you, you move the joystick to go. I don't know why it's called a joystick. Maybe it gives you joy when you use it. <laughs> I don't know. But if you play computer games like um like flying, like a flight simulator game, you might have a joystick you know, that you use to play your your video game or computer game, whatever, okay? So that's called a joystick, and this is called an electric wheelchair. Okay, take a look at this, email. Email, you use email every day. I use email every day. We don't even think about what the E means. What does the E mean? Does it mean electric, electronic, or electrical? Hmm, what do you think it means? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It means electronic mail. That's what email means. It means electronic mail. Hey, if you didn't know that email means electronic mail, smash that like button right down there. Okay, take a look at this. What is this? This is a circuit, okay? This can be called uh, a circuit. Now, what, what kind of a circuit is it? Is it an electric circuit, an electronic circuit, or an electrical circuit? Hmm, which one? Well, the answer is electrical circuit, an electrical circuit, but I think you could also say electric circuit. I think, I think you could use either one for this, an electric circuit or an electrical circuit. I think for me, if, if I look at this, the first word that I think of is electrical. That, to me, electrical circuit, is the, you know, makes the most sense. It seems the most natural to me, but, but I think you could also say electric circuit as well. So with some words in English, you know, native English speakers might not even know what the right answer is. They might just have a feeling as to which one is better. So my feeling is that that one is better, but I'm sure a lot of people use that one as well, electric circuit. Okay, now I just want to stop for a second. You might be confused 
you might be scared right out. Wow, I don't know the difference between electric, electronic, and electrical. Just relax and cut yourself some slack. Cut yourself some slack means go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Beat yourself. Oh, I'm stupid. I don't know English. Look, this is very advanced. Electric, electronic, electrical. What is the difference? They're all basically the same thing, right? It means electricity. Um, and even native English speakers sometimes don't know the right answer. Okay, so, so don't worry. This is pretty advanced. You know, that's why these quizzes, you know, these quizzes might be good for you to sort of to know how good your English is, right? If you've gotten all of these right so far, I think you're very advanced. Maybe you should start teaching at Mad English TV instead of me. I can go on holiday and you can take my job. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, so let's just look for some general patterns because with these words, electric, electronic, and electrical, there are, there are some patterns that we can sort of, we can pay attention to. Okay, so look at the word electronic, right? Remember, when we talk about email, when we talk about e-commerce or e-learning, what do all of these things have in common? Well, they have the internet in common, right? They're all online, online. So, so anything online, hmm, remember, it's probably the word electronic, electronic. Okay, also like this, an electronics store. Okay, these are all electronic devices, right? Like your phone or, you know, an electric shaver. Okay, those could be called electronic devices. Okay, so, so when you see the word device, okay, this is a secret. When you see the word device, remember that word is going to be electronic, electronic. Okay, that's a very good, a good indicator of what this word is going to be. It's going to be electronic. Okay, now take a look at this. You could say an electric shaver is an electronic device. Okay, an electric shaver is an electronic device. Okay, a laptop is an electronic device. Anything that uses electricity or, or some form of power you know, maybe battery power, like this remote, okay? You could call this an electronic device, okay? It uses battery power. It has something to do with electricity, right? So, so we could call it an electronic device. Okay, um, now take a look at the word electric. Electric, okay? Look at this, an electric scooter or an electric car. What are we talking about here? We're talking about the source of power. What kind of, I mean, I mean, where does the, where does the power come from? Well, it comes from electricity, right? So, so, you know, we, we use the word electric, you know, for this electric wheelchair, electric shaver. So anytime you're, you're trying to describe the source of power, if that is really important, you know, like it is for these, I mean, there, there, are, there's normal wheelchairs, right? Not all wheelchairs are electric, right? So when, when there's a normal version of something and then we add some form of electricity, then usually the word is electric, electric, okay? So, you know, there's a normal scooter and then there's an electric scooter. There's a normal wheelchair, electric wheelchair, normal cars that run on gas and electric cars, normal shavers, right? Do you use a normal shaver? or an electric shaver. I use a normal, I just use cheap, disposable, normal shavers. I use them a few times and then I chuck them out. Chuck them out, chuck out means to throw away. I chuck them out. Okay, um, now take a look at the word electrical. Electrical, when we use this word, generally we're talking about the topic of electricity. Okay, take a look at this tape. Is this tape a device? Is it a device? No, it's not a device. Does it have anything to do with, with online shopping or emails? No, it doesn't have to do with that. Um, it really doesn't have anything to do with electricity, right? It doesn't, it doesn't use a battery power, but 
it's related to the topic of electricity, right? Because electricians use this kind of tape to wrap around wires, right? So it is related to the topic of electricity. So we use the word electrical. Okay, the same for this. I mean, this is just, uh, this isn't a real thing. This is just a drawing, right? It's just a, it's a design. It's a diagram that, that is, is used to teach something about electricity, right? It, it has to do with the field, the topic of electricity, right? You might see this in a book, in a textbook or something like that when you're learning about electricity. So that's why I would call it an electrical circuit. This is an electrical circuit. And, and look over there. The guy is studying engineering. Okay. He's studying engineering that is related to electricity. So, so we use the word electrical engineering because it, it has to do with the topic of electricity. Okay. So, so there are some, there are some patterns. Now in English, there's always, there are always exceptions. Right. So, so don't look at this and, 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 and think it's always 100%. But in English, sometimes it's good to, to take a look at patterns to try to figure out, you know, how we could predict which word will be right in a situation. But I want you to know that sometimes native English speakers don't even know, you know, the right word. For example, take a look at this. Okay. What is this? This is a power outlet. Okay, it's a power outlet. I have a few power outlets here in my room. You don't need to say this word. You can just call it an outlet. Hey, uh, my battery is low. Is there an outlet around here? Hmm. Is there an outlet? I want to plug in my computer. I need an outlet. Okay, so this is called an outlet. Now, what's, what's another word for power? Power means electricity, right? So... Uh, we could call this an electricity outlet, but the word electricity is a noun. So it's probably better to use an adjective in this case. Like what, what kind of outlet is it? Is it an electric outlet, an electronic outlet, or an electrical outlet? Hmm. Well, for me, I would call it, if I had to use that word, one of those words, I would use the word electrical. Okay. It's an electrical outlet because it has to do with, with the idea of electricity. It's not an electronic electronic would sound unnatural there because we're not talking about any kind of device. Um, you could say electric outlet. Um, but, but somehow that, that doesn't feel natural to me to say electric outlet. The way that sounds the most natural, for me is electrical outlet. So take a look at this. Uh, what is this? Well, this is a tower. Okay. Um, what kind of tower is it? Well, it's a tower that, that carries electricity, electricity. So, so which, which word is right? Electric tower, electronic tower, or electrical tower? Well, again, in, in my opinion, the best one would be electrical tower. That sounds the most natural to me. Electrical tower. Yeah, that sounds the most natural. Electronic tower, that does not sound natural. Electric tower, that doesn't sound too natural to me. The best way for me would be electrical tower. So I wanted to show you this so that you know that sometimes there's not like a right answer. It's more, it has more to do with the feeling. So so how do you get that feeling? You know, native English speakers just sort of sometimes have a feeling which word is better. Well, I think it just takes time. It takes time and it takes some practice. Don't worry, just relax. And uh, if you use the wrong word, it's okay. It's okay if you call this an electric tower or an electronic tower, nobody's going to kill you. It's totally fine. You know, with stuff like this, even native English speakers, you know, make mistakes all the time. Sometimes there is no right answer. Just choose the one that you think sounds best. Okay. So let's, let's do some homework. Take a look at this. This is a guitar, right? Is it a normal guitar? Well, it's a special kind of guitar. 
It is. I mean, it uses electricity, right? You plug it in and you, you make loud noise, right? Maybe you're a rock star and, and you want to play your guitar very loud. Well, what kind of guitar is this? Is it an electric guitar, an electronic guitar, or an electrical guitar? Okay, let me know what kind of guitar you think this is down there in the comments, and I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.